How's it going everybody? I'm Chris and Theme and welcome back to Mind Magic 7. So, last time we finished off in Harmondale and now we're in Erathia. So what the fuck is a theme you might ask? Well, Mr. Listener, or Miss Listener, uh, hopefully I get, you know, a mixed audience. But anyway, um, basically what happened <laughs> last episode is I died. And by dying, I lost my scholar. And for the life of me, I couldn't find one in Harmondale, so I decided to take a trip around the world and I luckily got an instructor in the Talarian forest, her name's Ginny, and I got a scholar in Deja named Leah. And they both seem on crack, either that or they're about to stab us when we're resting. <laughs> they have that sort of face. Uh, but anyway, that was pretty much it, so I ended up in Arathia, and I was kind of thinking about what I want to do now. Uh, this is the point where I can get a lot of different things, but first things first. To be declared Archimage Champion, you must win a game of Archimage in every tavern on, in and under the continent of Erathia. There are 13 such taverns sponsoring Archimage events. When you have accomplished this, return to me to claim the prize. I just took this uh, quest because uh, for the life of me I can't remember whether I'm supposed to take the quest and then the victories count for the quest or if the victories count even if I don't take the quest. Um, yeah. So we're going to be doing that. I'm probably going to replay the uh, Archimage fight in Harmondale as well. I need to do that. And this is the second quest we are going to take. The Cavalier, the Cavalier quest. The hallmark of the Cavalier is courage. I can promote you to Cavalier status, but before I'll do that, you'll have to prove to me your bravery in battle. Since most people are yellow-bellied cowards at heart, I doubt you'll succeed. But if you want to try, here's what you must do. Destroy all the undead in the haunted mansion in the Barrow Downs. Uh, ah. Sorry about that noise. I did, um, had to move my monitor a bit. So yeah, that's our Knights to Cavalier promotion quest. We also have the option of getting one more. But we're not going to do that now. Because it's an annoying one. It's the Thief promotion quest and I don't like it, to be honest. Well, let me just check one thing. Oh no, I only have 500 gold. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm Pure going to... Garbage. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna equip all of these. Uh, there we go. And there goes my cat. One of the two. He's annoying sometimes. And when he's not annoying, the other one... Ooh, gold! And when he's not annoying, the other one is annoying. So, people, if you want to get, uh, you know, animals, try to get silent ones, you know, like fish, maybe a turtle. Don't get cats or dogs, because they, they can be very, very annoying. Um, okay, so, my plan is get some experience, get some money from camps around the Rathia. Because luckily they have camps that are fairly valuable and aren't really that difficult. I have... I don't have a quick spell. Nice, so I can basically just fold down the S button. I think I forgot to... No, I cast Heroism. Yeah, I did. Good. So I'm not really afraid of them. Because I'm pretty strong now. Stud Leather of Thought. I think I already have Stud Leather yeah, on both of my characters. So that's nice. And the plus three intellect won't help me because I think I have like air resistance if I saw correctly. There we go. What's here? Plus ten accuracy might as well. Ooh, steel plated boots. Nice. I'm gonna give that to my uh, to my sorcerer. I have a feeling that she doesn't have a lot of armor class. Yeah, I was kind of right on that one. And boots of speed, might as well give it to you. Wait, another boots of speed. Nice. And leather boots, there we go. Some item management, equipment management. So now I have enough money to ah. visit the... Uh... Wait, there we go. Unarmed Grandmaster. The guy's name is Norris. Well, first name Chuck, maybe? Um, 
what I want to do. Oh yeah, so I wanted to pay a visit to the Kenneth Wayne, to the uh, to the Body Matrix Guild again. Rubbish. Oh nice, there's a good dagger. I'm gonna give this to my thief because why not? Thief does more damage than my sorcerer does, so I want to boost it even further. Um, I want to visit the Body Magic Guild because there is a quest that I really, really, really want to get. Um, and it's, in my opinion, one of the most... Well, I hesitate to use the word, but broken spells in the game. Oh. Especially on, on higher levels. Like, the stronger you get in Body Magic, the stronger that spell gets and you just basically can't die. And you'll see the, what what spell I'm talking about when I get there. I'm sort of losing my words today, I have no idea why. Probably because I'm thinking about things too much. And um, there we go, Body Magic Guild. Of the body welcomes you. Do we have it? Cure Poison? No? Regeneration! There we go. So Regeneration is a lovely spell that basically makes you regenerate hit points. I know it it's, It pretty much does what it says on the can, but... Uh, Dwarven Dagger... Oh no! Long Dagger. Um, it pretty much does what it says on the can, but... It does it... I mean... It's a very, very significant thing, because I don't... I, I, I basically won't have to spam... Uh, you know, cure wounds and stuff like that. Ooh, a scimitar. Ooh, a nice mace. There we go. Champion broadsword. 3d4 plus 10. This one's plus 11. I think this one's plus 9. So I think if I switch this one, yeah, I'll get a slight bonus. Rubbish. Ooh, and a zealot mace of cold. No, that's good. So even the base stats are better, but I also get a plus 3d4 cold damage as an added bonus, and we can get one more level. That's nice. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use any of these, so I might as well sell them. Same with this, and I don't have any more ores. I need to read these uh, journals. Uh, I think I already read that one. Letter to Hairball. I'm gonna read that when that when that comes into play. Velatir. Our raids have been quite successful. Our position allows us to hit two routes. Routes? Routes. Arathia to Deja and Arathia to Harmondale. We've done as you've suggested and kept our activity infrequent enough to prevent direct intervention from Arathian forces. Also, our cave has been hidden enough that casual observation won't be enough to locate it. Your payment is being finalized right now and will be shipped to you soon. Lareth. These remains of a journal. Oh yeah, these are the remains we got from the brother of... What was he? Darren Temper? Something like that. Uh, basically gives you a sort of idea of how to play Arco Mage, but it's a simple enough game anyway. And this one actually has something to do with a sort of like mini quest. Let me just demonstrate how regeneration works. There we go. We already got one, got a few hit points. So basically what it does, it heals... Um, it heals on expert level, I think one hit points per every uh, per every skill point and body magic per per in-game minute. And that is pretty fast. You can see that I'm pretty much almost topped up already. And on master level it heals two point per skill and on grandmaster level it heals three point per skill. So basically that means I get 30 hit points per in-game minute. Which is quite a lot of hit points actually. Um, and it lasts for I think a fair amount of time. Yeah, I mean right now it, it lasts for pretty much seven hours already. Um, so on Grandmaster it will last for 10 hours, I guess, and it will give me 30 hit points per in-game minute. And that is an incredible amount of hit points, especially when you take into account that you get, you know, Need a new weapon? other buffs that give you, I don't know, armor class and resistances, which means Thanks. enemies will hit you for less and stuff like want. that. So this is a new spell, and we are pretty much going to abuse it a lot. We're really going to be abusing this. This is going This is going to be the third spell of the Heroism Blast combo anything. that is going to just help us out immensely. Thanks. For now, this is about it. Um, well, 
this is about it concerning power-ups, I guess. Uh, we, need, we need to clear the, the next camp. Because we will probably start going... Uh, going after promotion quests. Because we're at the point where they will... Whoa, I fell down. That's not good. We're at a point where they will actually be... Not just manageable, but pretty much required to do if we want to power up, I guess, because we need to get, you know, new skill levels and everything. Um, but I want to do, or I want to get some things before I start it. Because at this point they're still fairly hard for us to complete. Oh, let me just go up here, if I can. Uh, there we go. Uh, slowly edging up. Uh, uh, nope. Not gonna work. It's not going to work! Uh, there we go. This is why I dislike falling down. Who's running? Somebody was running. Please hit him. Thank you. Closer. Yeah, you did. And as soon as I come, I deal a heck of a lot of damage. So my thief does 28 points of damage, my knight deals 49. So Serena, the cleric, deals 25. And I don't know if the. And I don't know if the uh, cold magic was already in there. Uh, I actually don't know about that. I don't think it is. Even Alexis deals 21 damage. And yeah, daggers on Sorcerer are much, much better than Staff. In Might Magic 6, uh, the, sorcerer, uh, the Sorcerer actually starts with daggers. Uh, unfortunately, in Might Magic 7, you need to teach him. Which is not really a problem, I guess. And it's just much better because you get two of them. They deal more damage, they're better. Pure garbage. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Intellect and personality. Won't be able to use it anyway. Unfortunately. So we got some apples here. Apples are nice. Yeah, apples are really nice. And some chests. And a heavy crossbow, I think. Rubbish. Yeah, there we go. Like, I don't know Pure why they decided garbage. that most of the loot on the floor in this game won't be random and I'm not sure if it's just Rubbish. you know if that 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 is true for just the first cycle of the loot um, or if it's basically all the loot hereafter empty cauldron did I open this already no I didn't pure garbage yeah yeah I know Roderick everything is garbage for you Either that or, you know, the word that we're not going to say. Okay, so this one thing, and I think, and it jotted my memory, I think that's another shrine right there. Remember, Do you remember the shrine that we took in, or did we actually visit the shrine in, uh, in Tutelarian Forest? I don't know. So shrines work much better in this game. Uh than in Might and Magic 6, because A, you can visit them at any time, uh, so it's not a... For example, you don't get a month of luck and you have to journey to the Shrine of Luck to get luck. Um, B, the bonus that you get is more significant, uh, like it's a higher bonus you get. And C, you usually get a mix of different stats. Now, on this... Uh, on this shrine I obviously only got luck, but we're gonna visit the shrine in the Tellurian Forest because I obviously missed that one. And we are going to basically be getting a whole bunch of stats, and that's really, really good. So we're gonna do that right now. Might as well, right? And I'm pretty much finished with what, what I wanted to do in uh, Arathia for now at least. 
there's a few more things that I want to do, uh, but that comes later. Because right now my objective is basically getting to level 4 water magic and getting expert water magic. So I think I won't have enough just yet. Need some training? That's the ticket. Nope, I need one more level for it. Hmm. Spirit might Spirit is also a good candidate for leveling up at the moment. I'm sort of bouncing between spirit magic and merchant. And mind magic. And mace actually. Mace mace in um mind magic. Uh, seven is actually fairly good on clerics as well, so I want to get master sometime. Chance to stun is, you know, it's a seven percent chance to stun, but you know, that's still good. And you need disarm trap, and you need. I think I'm gonna beeline for sword mastery to be honest, because I I want to get the um, sword and spear combo. I'm sorry, did I say sword? I meant spear. I'm gonna beeline for spear mastery. So that's gonna be an important milestone. Need a new weapon? I don't actually, but I have a lot of junk that I need to sell to you. So Man. please get your wallet out, you your pouch, you whatever you you use to keep Thank money. I don't know, old socks, pants. I don't really care. Just I hope they're not too smelly. But if they're a bit smelly, it's okay. Just not too smelly. Okay, so where do I want to go? Oh yeah, Talarian Forest. Um. Today. Okay, today. I need to go to Harmondale and then I need to go to the Talarian Forest, I guess. Today. There we go. I'm gonna visit the shrine and I'm probably going to... You know, I'm gonna fell the evil man-eating forest. Might as well. It's not going to be very lucrative because they... I don't think they drop items, but they do have a chance to have gems in them for some reason. Although I guess it kind of makes sense, you know, using trees as hiding places and then they have gems in it. And this is the other uh, shrine. Oh no, I already visited it. What? Fire, air, water, and earth. But what is it? Was it just fire, air, and water? I only got fire, air, and water. Okay, anyway. Never mind then. I completely forgot what I did already. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you can do the shrines once every year, I think. Well, or, or I know, you can do them once every year. I don't know whether... Here's one thing I don't know, though. Uh, I don't know whether they reset each year, like on January 1st, or whether they reset when... basically one year later after you visited it. But I don't think it's the, the latter one, I think it's the first option. Right, let me get this. Bless and Heroism. And unfortunately I'm going to be needing to cast... Uh, regeneration every single time on each of my characters because it never gets to a point where you can mass cast it and we're going to be using it pretty much all the time yeah trees feel my spears and blows and bows and everything one thing that I kind of miss in my magic uh, in my magic 6-7 is double damage on enemies that are vulnerable to certain things because for example I I would have really it would it would have been kind of nice to basically deal double damage to let's say with fire damage to trees because I, I mean I mean it would make sense wouldn't it and for example deal less damage with water magic but I guess they have resistances so I guess that counts but they don't have the sort of double damage thing. They have it in Heroes of Mind Magic, which is weird. Oh, there we go. First one I picked up had a gemstone and a sapphire that. Nice. And another one. Wow. Color me impressed. Another one. So I'm gonna get a fair amount of gemstones, I guess. Looks like the drop chance is pretty good. Didn't expect that much, though. So how, woo, a ruby even, and an amethyst. We got a nice amount of pretty valuable gems. That's good. That's very good. So, those, are, ooh, it's a pile of money. Hmm, I like. Ah, and toadstools, there we go. And that's mercury, I think. It's 
it's worth something as well. Uh, these are moonstones. Not sure. Let me pick all this. Pick all these things up. I can see a a nice amount of items there on the minimap. I have no idea how I'm gonna get there though. Can I jump? Nope. 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 Come on, there has to be a way. I'm gonna have to go around. Wait, why am I going here? I'm gonna go have uh, have to go around. I have no idea what's there actually. Maybe it's good, maybe it isn't. We'll see. There's another dungeon here as well. It looks like it's just some reagents. Possibly some weapons actually. So mark this area viewer because we're gonna be returning here later on. It's not gonna be anything special but okay so it's basically just berries and rose petals and some trees with apples. Don't really need that I guess. So where exactly are we? There we go. Guess I'm gonna have to go to another place and train. Where should I go though? Maybe Avli? I think Avli would be nice. Or Deja. Go either to Avli or Deja. But I can go to Avli from here, so I'm probably gonna go to with Avli. I have to be a bit careful though, because the Viverns and Avli are pretty tough. So gonna get, I'm gonna have to be a bit careful, I guess. My characters are weak, so I'll have to pay a visit to the tavern anyway. Welcome, Hello. Travelers. Um, have a pleasant evening. And I'm not gonna bother with Archimage just yet. I'm possibly going to play Archimage in in between episodes. Because some of the games actually take a lot of time for some reason. Uh, because, you know, you have a very high... Uh, have a very high objective to get to. I can't really sell anything here. I have pretty much everything I need. So let me try and go kill some Viverns. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Wyverns or Viverns? I, I usually pronounce it Viverns. Uh, there we go. And here's the thing, right? They seem to be really, really far away, but in fact, they're really not, because they're actually fairly tiny. As you can see, he's really fucking close. So, I have Blast on me, uh, Heroism, and I guess next time we're going to give, her, give everybody regeneration. Is it a... that's a normal Viburn, okay. I'm not afraid of that. They can poison me, but I have Cure Poison anyway. The bigger problem uh, is the... Ancient Viburn. And the reason that it's a problem is because they can... I think they have the ability to one-shot me. Probably both with damage and with uh, their ability, to be honest, so... I think there's a... Oh, there's a horn Viburn. And we're getting a lot of them. Hopefully no ancient ones, though. I don't think there are any ancient ones. No, I think they're just normal Viburns in the horn Viburn. So there we go, we got disease, the first hit we, uh, we took. Help. So I'm gonna heal her. That works. And I'll put poison. There we go. Hmm. To get to a point where I can actually shoot them from afar. And now I only need enough 
And I only want to kill enough to get the uh, the next level here at the Ancient Wyvern. It's going to be a bit of a bummer. I already got about 2k experience out of these Wyverns. Cure poison. And I hope they don't kill me outright. I'm gonna die. Let's risk it. Yeah, I, I took a risk. It didn't pay off. So now I need to go and visit the temple. When I was younger, the thing that I did was I basically lured the oh. Viverns into the city and then the guards took care of them. And if the guards died, well, basically I could pick up the guard corpses as well. They dropped spears. Nice spears at that, so... That's one more thing you can actually do. But since we're here for the experience, I don't want to do that. A lot of apples. Apples. You can get body resistance, I guess. But I don't really want it. And bless, and heroism, and wizard eye. There we go. Once more into the fray. And here's the thing, right? Because I actually healed with a temple, the wyvern is actually going to be on lower health. Whereas if I actually rested or visited a tavern and, you know, sort of slept, um, they would have healed as well, so that's one more thing about uh, about temples and the overworld that I actually like. Oh, those are two ancient weapons, that's not good. But can we? Yeah, we can use... Uh, we can use oh, there we go. And that was actually a spell. That was actually the, the insta-dead spell. Looks pretty much the same way as Finger of Death did. Uh, the Finger of Death that Minotaur Kings used. But it's a uh, it's a melee Hound spell here. Me Actually has to hit me as well. There you go. But if it does, well it basically kills me. Seriously. And they're gonna kill the Wyvern. It's kind of kind of bad, to be honest. It was really low as well. Eh, just missed it. So how much do I need? I need 3,740 more experience points. Annoying. Hopefully, you're gonna kill a. Uh, hopefully, you're gonna kill a. Uh, an elven guard. Maybe get myself a spear, even though I have one. I guess it's seven. Walk in the light. Good. Walk in the light. Good boy. Heroism. I'm not even gonna recast regeneration because they deal so much damage to me at this point. So hopefully I'll be the one that gets the killing blow. Seriously. So how do I skip my turn? Yeah, it's B. So I need to heal you and hopefully... Pure. Uh, absolutely no luck. Do we actually get experience if we're near? No, we need to get the killing blow, unfortunately. And that's worth probably about 500 experience, the Ancient Wyvern. Ow. Stop complaining. Ow. 
If I actually manage to clear out most of these vibrants, I can actually beeline to another shrine. I think there's one here, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure. I know there's a shrine here, but I don't know if it's a stat increase one, to be honest. How much experience did we get? Yeah, we got 600 experience from these two. So it's probably like 250 and 350 and then probably 450 for the Ancient Vyvern. Maybe even more. that I can actually spam my uh, fire bolts even though it's a level 1 spell and I can backtrack if I want I'm gonna use that against these ancient wyverns as much as I can oh, it's only on half health these guys are a fucking pain Hopefully you won't. There we go. I need 1,953. Oh nice, and a double one Plus 10 into Lethkin Luck. You know what? You might as well take this one. Get some more extra uh, spell points. Heal. There's another ancient wyvern there. That's not good. I don't think I'll be able to handle the, uh, this much wyverns. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I should run. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cure her. Just so she's not unconscious. Scared me. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a good spear from that one. That's the highest ranking. Uh, that's the highest ranking guard in this town. What chase we do you have? What? How? Oh come on! I was waiting for my uh, for my cleric to get enough HP, and then he one hits my knight. Seriously. And now he died. <laughs> it's a good plan, but the execution needs to be worked on. <laughs> Yeah, there's two more Vyverns here, I think. Yeah. I can cure poison, there we go. Too bad I didn't heal my um Too bad I didn't heal my sorcerer because I need mana. Let's just press on. Oh well, that's the uh, that's the one that I actually pretty much killed already. No? And another ancient wyvern. Could you not? Could you seriously not? That's two deaths in a row. Luckily this game actually has a spell that counters these kind of annoying... Uh, kind of annoying effects. And it's going to be very useful. However, we need Master Body Magic to do it. 
So, bleh. How may we help so, ways away. The... Oops. There you go. That was the wrong one. Come on, I just need like some more experience points, guys. Some more experience points. Come on, squeeze out some more experience out of these fiverns. Uh, I feel defeated already, to be honest. This is gonna be a Pyrrhic victory. If it's gonna be a victory at all, to be honest. I'm gonna be so mad if I actually kill all the Viverns and, the, and then I'm missing like 200 experience. That's gonna be bad. There we go. Okay, so I need 1,000 more experience points. Come on, guys. We started at like 6,000, I think, and then we're down, down to 1,000. Let's do this shit. Oh, I won't be able to hit that. It's a horn wagon, I think. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna heal you, just in case. Oh, that's an ancient wyvern. So many ancient wyverns here. Why? That's not good. And another failure. Just you wait until I level up, and I'm gonna showcase how strong we get on you. Ow. And the fall damage. I really need to be careful. I mean, the last time I died was because of fall damage, and ha I haven't died. I haven't died in ages, to be honest. Before that happened, I was so kind of ashamed, actually. Walk in the light. I can't repair it. Youch. Okay, guess that's going to be a bit pricey, to be honest. And also I'm an Avli, which means it's going to be double pricey. Come in. How may I help you? Oof, 765. That, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts my achy breaky heart. What is this? Hmm. Oh, the resistance, I guess. Might as well. I'll need to recast Heroism and Bless again. Wizard Eye is still gonna last for a while though. So that's good. Thank god we get the ring. Where are you? Thank God he whispered softly. Okay, I need like I need one more Vyvern. Come on. Any Vyvern will do. We're probably gonna get an ancient one. We're gonna get an ancient one, aren't we? Is this the uh no that this isn't the damaged one? Okay, I just need this this longer. There we go, thank god. Okay, whew. So that will allow us to get to the next level, which means I'll get level four water magic, and that's pretty much my objective for now. Then we're gonna be able to do some more interesting things. You know what? I'm gonna run around and sort of pick up these items, because they're kinda worth it. Yowch. And there's a shrine here, an altar. Okay, so it doesn't count as a shrine. Woo! We do not need them anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Roderick. We don't need them anyway. So that's 750 more gold pieces. I'm gonna go to the Tolarian Forest, though it's gonna be a bit cheaper. So I guess it's a bit 600. Which means... No, I have enough money. I can sell all the items that I have in my inventory. I'm gonna have enough money to get myself... To expert level in water magic. So there's one So there's one guy and three dead people with him. That's not suspicious at all. I don't want to be the I don't want to be the driver of this coach 
What's this? Well, just three dead people. Where are you taking them? To the tell Iron Forest to the temple. But we have a temple here! Yeah, but they're, you know... I'm a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> I don't want to resurrect my... my friends here. In your town. How may we help? Oh no, 750. Oh, well, I... I saved pretty much zero money. Uh, I can't fix that. And that's another... That's another 700 gold pieces for this as well. So is that nice? Okay, so first things first, I need to repair the items. Come in. How may I help you? Well, at least this is cheaper. That's good. So there, there, there. Wear this. Uh, whoops. What? Air resistance? Oh. There we go. I guess I could have just repaired the steel armor with my knight, but I kind of forgot. Um, and now I need to sell all Looking the reagents and shits. That's gonna be a nice amount of money, to be honest. So there we go, we're more than fine with money. And these as well. Might as well check if they have any better bows or any better daggers. I don't expect them to have daggers, but maybe they're gonna have a bow. A better bow. Uh, no. Thank you for your patronage. Practice makes well done. Practice makes well done. So spear. Just go with the sarm trap. And water magic. There we go. Now there is a teacher of water magic here. And I think there's also the. What is it? The adapt guild of water magic. I think. The one that has expert, uh, the one that has expert teachers in it. So Sethra Quinn Song is not going to give me water magic. Harold Whitecap is, however, excellent. Water Guild membership. Do we have that already? I do have that already. Good. So the next thing we need to do, and this is the last thing we're gonna do before we we wrap up, we're we're going to get the spell Water Walk because we sort of need it, it's not necessary, or it's not uh, mandatory for what we're about to do. But it's a good thing to have. Welcome to the Water Guild. So please have Water Walk. There we go, Water Walk. Can't wait. Welcome to the do you have anything else we can use? Acid Burst? Hmm. No, not really. I mean, Acid Burst is very useful because it's very strong, however, I don't really have enough points in water magic to make it useful. I'm gonna check Welcome if it has a good fire, fire magic spell though. So we could buy fireball. One to six, we could buy haste. But we would have to recast it every single time. Oh it might as well buy a fireball. Ah new spell great. Yeah, isn't it? That's it. A spear expert is actually an Avli. We just got to expert spear, but before we get to master, it doesn't matter anyway. Is there anything else that we can level up? Mind magic. Mind magic is in, I think it's in Harmondale anyway. So this is basically it. Need a ride. So let's go to. Let's go to Erathia first, and we're gonna sort of. Go onwards from there Traveling next time. Traveling Come on. Today. Where's Arathia? Traveling today. There we go. Okay, guys, so basically, this was this episode. We did a bit of powering up, a bit of a mandatory and urgent powering up, if I do say so myself. Uh, anyway, I've been Chris and Thin. This was Mind Magic. I hope you liked and uh, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and, the, and I'll see you here next time. Bye bye.